He ruined it. He completely did. My life was on a totally different path before he got a hold of me. Hey guys, Budget Girl here, and today I'm bringing you another collab video. Uh, today, the topic is Five Ways Dave Ramsey Ruined My Life, and it was thought up by the lovely and talented, um, the former Mrs. Jones, Christy, and uh, we've done collab videos before, and I was so excited when she reached out to me to do this one because I love doing them. So, I'm going to jump in. First of all, Dave Ruined My Life by changing my mind about easy money. Credit card rewards, zero down, other money scams. I fell for them, hook, line, and sinker. Not all of them, but some. I was convinced for a while that credit card rewards would just completely take me to a new place. And you know what? They never did. Ever. I never gained enough to cash out. Fortunately, I canceled before they got one over on me completely. But I totally spent more money when I was using credit cards because I knew I was racking up the cash rewards. Not worth it. Like Dave said, Nobody ever said they got rich off of credit card miles. <laughs> Number two, Dave ruined my life by ruining shopping for me. And I hold a grudge. I do. Dave Ramsey, you ruined shopping for me. I used to shop if there was a dollar in my bank account. And I had no idea of when, how, when or how I was going to pay rent. I would just go browsing. And that was fun. And that was how I had fun without checking my budget, without weighing the purchases against my debt or my future, and it's ruined for me now. It really, really is. Um, it's, it's a lot of pressure to put up on a knickknack or like a pair of cute shoes of do I want this more than I want to be out of debt and to have a future for myself? And the answer is almost always no. <laughs> like, Almost always no. It should probably be no 100% of the time, but let's just be honest here. It's almost always no. Uh, now I have to find other ways to have fun, and honestly, I I don't think I'll look back. I plan for my purchases now when I, I look for, because I'm more careful about what I buy, I'm more careful about what I buy, and I make sure it's things that I want and need and will use, and it's not just spending money to spend money or for any sort of cathartic reason. So, yeah, Dave totally ruined shopping for me. That was the hardest. <laughs> All right, number three, Dave ruined my spontaneity. I used to always say yes. Yeah, let's go to the Lock and Dam. Let's go for a weekend camping. Let's, you know, a spontaneous lunch or dinner or out for drinks or a spontaneous whatever. And it always cost money. And now I'm not so spontaneous anymore. When people ask me if I can do something, I tell them I have to check my budget. <laughs> or that it might have to wait until the next month. And so, yeah, Dave kind of ruined my spontaneity. On the other hand, when something bad happens spontaneously, say a busted tire or a ticket or getting sick, I don't worry about anything because I know I have the money in the bank. It's really weird driving down the street in an absolute clunker and not worrying about it because you know every single day that you're driving it, you know that you have the money in the bank to fix it or go buy a new car. The cash in the bank to go fix it or buy a new car. And I, I gotta tell you, it feels really good. I trade that feeling of kind of security of being able to sleep at night knowing that if I get sick or if I lose my job, I'm not going to end up living under a bridge for the feeling of spontaneity any day. Security versus spontaneity. I never thought I'd go for it. But Dave, you ruined spontaneity for me. I'm a total convert to security. Number four, Dave ruined my sense of immortality. He's just ruining everything. That's, he's just doing it. Uh, I never thought about a 401k. I I didn't even really know what that was after college, which is pathetic. Like, they should take away my diploma or that. <laughs> um, I just kind of kicked retirement and, like, adult money decisions down the line, figuring that someday I'd make enough to 
be able to handle it and not worry about it. And um, then I realized that I was an adult. <laughs> I may not feel like it all the time, but yeah, I have to deal with it now. Uh, for my very first job that I got after college, I didn't I didn't take the 401k match. My company that I was working for did a full 401k match to like six or ten percent. They they put in 100 percent, and I just said no. Like I remember it in my mind them being like 401k. There's a hundred percent match. No, I don't need that because I didn't know what it was and I didn't take the time to learn what it was. So that money from when I was 22 would probably be like thousands of dollars now that would compound into hundreds of thousands of dollars by the time I'm retired. But I have to let that go. <laughs> so yeah, I I know I'm gonna get old now. And I know I'm gonna have to plan for that. And somehow before I started the Total Money Makeover, I didn't think that would ever happen to me. So, Dave, you ruined my sense of immortality. Come on, come on. All right, and finally, number five. Dave, man. <laughs> You ruined my preconceived notions of what my life should look like. I thought my life was supposed to look like the lives of people on TV. Big, expansive apartments, perfect wardrobes, eating out all the time, uh, going on exotic vacations, having new cars, having houses. It doesn't matter how old you are. I thought that that was what being young and successful looked like. And if I hadn't teamed up with Dave, even though he has no clue who I am, but I, but I love him. He's like my, my second dad. I, I wouldn't realize what my life is really supposed to look like right now or be okay with it. I'd probably be constantly disappointed in how my life was because I was comparing it to how I thought it should be. So I know now because of him that life will be better later if I work hard now. She's not the easiest lesson, but it's a wonderful lesson. So he also gave me a plan. Like when you're going through school, there's a very easy plan to follow. You know, you graduate fifth grade, you go to sixth grade, you graduate sixth grade, you go to seventh grade, you graduate twelfth grade, you go to college. Nine times out of ten, that's what you're. That's what you're kind of on the path to do. Once you're out of grade school and college, no one's really telling you what to do. You're all on your own. So. Dave gave me a plan, a, a seven-step system saying, this is how you succeed. And I couldn't be more grateful for that. So, yeah, Dave Ramsey ruined my life in the most wonderful way. He, he changed it for the better. And beyond God and my family and my friends, there's, there's no one I'm more grateful to for everything that he does. So... Dave Ramsey, thank you very much for ruining my life. I'm so much better for it. So, if you guys want to check out the other ladies and gentlemen in this collab video, uh, all credit goes to the former Mrs. Jones for this idea. Everybody is going to be linked below. Um, I know Gazelle Intense is one of the things, and Christopher from Gazelle Intense, his birthday is, well, I'm Today's Thursday. I'm filming today. Uh, his birthday is today. So wish him happy birthday when you go see his video. And go visit all of my other friends in the linky list below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and go to my Facebook. Facebook.com slash YouTube, where I post tips and tricks on how to save money and live better every single day. Thank you so much. Bye.